the diversity on Star Trek Prodigy, whether it be with the casting and characters or environments, was really, really vast and very, very deep. Just the richness of the characters themselves was like something we hadn't really seen before. Uh, the voice casting was perfect. Some of these characters, once you hear their voice, it was just completely unexpected versus their physical appearance. And so for our team, it really pushed us to embrace those personalities and to become those characters. Star Trek is definitely a completely different species to handle. Mm -hmm. Ben was the director, actually, Ben Heba. He's a fantastic man and he has uh, given a wonderful artistic uh, inputs when we started that. Because, uh, first of all, the personalities of the characters and uh, even though we, we, all the shows and we will be very much careful about the personality, but into the broader stroke. And, but this is, we dived, deep dived into more of in-depth and in-detailed uh, personalities. Okay. Each character is having different characteristics. So I could only, our goal was to achieve this. It should not look same. All the characters should not look same. So there should be some depreciation so like people could relate and that was our biggest creative challenge. Each and all the main characters their individuality and the, you know, the consistency the throughout that all the episodes. One of the biggest challenges in the show is uh, bringing the subtlety uh, on the acting performance. For example, if you are design, designing the work, for example, so how how we will designing the work? You have to understand the characterization completely. So what is the status and what is the age? There are several factors involved, and what is the relationship between between and in the what, what is the status in the in the social order? We have tried to apply the real world logic while animating, which means uh, uh, the animators uh, deal with the characters placement continuity as close to the real world. Uh, even uh, moving the characters slightly uh, short wise, uh, this may create lighting continuity issues when it uh, gets through the post production. We have few characters which are already appeared in the Star Trek shows like Janeway and then there is uh, uh, Spox. So these are the characters we uh, actually, for the reference, we went back to the TV shows and we referred to those characters. Queen, she's the daughter of Diviner, and uh, the, the Diviner who controls that uh, Tars Lamora, the entire planet. Then the Queen, the name itself, it's a Queen. It's a kind of Queen, right? It sounds like Queen. So uh, how, when, when we are designing that, uh, how, how she's supposed to walk? Because uh, she can't behave like uh, anybody else, any other girls. It's an, uh, she's not a normal girl. And what's her status and how her nature and because when her fighting style also, when she fight and it will be very precise and the hit will be strong and very defined and very calculated move. I would like to bring the character Dreadnought, uh, which comes in the first show. It is totally different than uh, the other characters. It is uh, it is more uh, stronger and uh, kind of uh, villainous. And at the same time, uh, the characters move very subtly. This was quite challenging for uh, to get that uh, the, the, the consistency. Rock Talk is huge, but she's a very tender, sweet girl inside. But the the you know the the appearance and uh, uh, the body uh, is completely rough. And it's till the end of uh, the first episode, you everybody will think uh, it's a monster. In later in the end, we everybody will understand she's the girl, and she's a very intelligent girl, and she's very very much interested towards the science. I'm big. Not dumb. Diviner is like a, more like a human, a human kind of uh, attitude. We have given a lot of attention to Diviner because the reason is he's not like a regular villain to make a lot of noise. And his voice was very deep and very, very broad, very strong. Our job was uh, to make them to control it, bring it down and bring the spacing lesser. That was our uh, main focus. So bringing all the team to match the style itself, it took uh, couple of months to us so because everywhere my correction was it is like a reduce it toned down reduce bring it down those, those, those was the correction so it is it is a you know less is more that was the policy we maintained and it worked really we have great support from uh, our team leads uh, and the production team and uh, our show director michael ernest and i would like to thank uh, our client as well um, all the directors 
on this show ben hibben jason cg all this and their guidance actually really made us to uh, deliver this uh, show with a great quality their guidance really made a difference to us and a lot of things we learned from this project and i think that will be helpful for us to take it forward and uh, use that for the other shows to come <laughs>